all right welcome to the channel my name is Dan this is Viking designs where we talk all things carpentry small businesses and yet yeah, today we're talking tools <laughs> Now, a few months back, I made a video talking about jumping uh, between tool manufacturers. I owned a lot of Makita stuff and I wanted to try something else. I'll link the video down below if you want to check it out. I ended up picking up a whole stack of Bosch tools. Now, I want to say this just off the bat, with the exception of this thing. So that circular saw, I did get for free off Bosch. Part of the deal was that I did a little review about it, which I did, I'll link that below as well. Everything else you're gonna see here, um, I paid for with my own hard earned cash. There's like a few thousand dollars worth of, of tools here. So this is not biased. I'll tell you straight up, if I think it's no good, um, yeah, I'll let you guys know. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's start with one of the first things most guys pick up, that is the drill and driver combo. Really solid drill. I've had no issues with it yet. A stack of power. I mean, it's very comparable to my old Makita one. There's nothing massively different about it. Rock solid unit. Now for the driver. Yeah, this thing is really cool. One of the reasons I really wanted to pick this up and really what got me interested in the whole Bosch lineup was just how they thought about the uh, this system here. So pull up the red ring, the hex head bit slips in. However, for those of you not running a Bosch system, prepare to have your minds blown. Pull the hex head bit out. And yeah, you have the ability to just snap on a socket set. We're always looking for the hex head adapter so we can use a socket set on a driver. Whereas with this, you no longer need to. It, it just pushes right on. Whenever I show someone new on site that, uh, yeah, everybody wants that on their driver. Everybody wants that functionality. So yeah, thumbs up a Bosch on that one. That's a, a nice little bit of innovation. This is the one tool I did actually receive as part of a free promotion thing from Bosch. Um, like I said, I've already done a review on it. This is their bare bones, 18 volt circular saw. It's pretty nice. I wish it was the GC so I could use it on my track. Watch my video, I have a massive whinge about it there. This is a pretty decent bare bones circular saw. However, it's not the one that I would have purchased. Speaking of the GC, this is one. Now, I'll probably make a full video just about this saw, but this is to be used on their glide rail. It is a plunge saw. It's got the tiniest blade. It almost looks like an angle grinder blade. This thing is absolutely awesome. Features a bi-turbo motor. You've got your speed control just here. So if you're cutting different worktops or whatever, this might be my favorite Bosch tool. It's definitely up there. All right, not as exciting, but um, you know, handy nonetheless. Look, not too many guys are getting overly excited about their leaf blow up. The Makita one has a trigger where you sort of pull it for the pressure you want. This just has two settings and it locks off on those speeds. Kind of cool, but you don't get as much control over your speed as you do with the Makita. However, I've broken two or three of the Makita triggers, so I don't know, this, this one may uh, stand the test of time a little bit better, we will see. This is Bosch's multi-tool. I never really used to get very excited over multi-tools. I'd only ever use the Makita one and I never got what all the hype was about, but I get it with this thing. This is awesome. I think it's pretty old, this one too, but um, it's got the star lock feature, and so it's really easy to swap blades over. That's technology that Bosch actually made and now all the other companies are licensing it from them. So they're really good in the innovation space. Yeah, multi-tool. Pretty basic, but it's, yeah, this is awesome. The 
It's their barrel jigsaw. I love the feel of this in the hand. I love the barrel jigsaws um, a lot more than the D type jigsaws. It just fits really well, super easy to use, triggers in a nice spot for the thumb, and it just feels premium. We've got the Fez Tool one, and this feels very, very similar. It's really weighty, and it just, it just feels great in the hand. Now to something I don't love as much. It's just like a little palm sander. Feels a little awkward when you throw a battery in it. The weight of it sort of feel, just doesn't sit nicely in the hand. I'm not a biggest fan of it. I don't hate it, but I mean, I don't love it. They got their new Orbital, which does look amazing. So I'm probably gonna pick that up. I actually got this one for free via Redemption. Bought it through Total Tools and I don't know, I think I spent a certain amount of money and this, this got sent out to me for nothing. So for nothing, I mean, I don't mind it. But yeah, not my favorite. All right, this is the X-Lock Angle Grinder. Features a brushless motor. It isn't the bi-turbo. It is a brushless angle grinder. Now for any of you that have gone and looked on Bosch's website and tried to pick an angle grinder, there's about 15 of them and they all look almost the same, but they're all slightly different. This one features the X-Lock technology where you, where you just pull the little red tab at the back and the blade just pops off so you don't need a tool. And to get it back on, bit of dust on that one. So yeah, this grinder is awesome. I love the X-Lock. It's just another technology that Bosch has uh, come up with and that they're licensing to the other manufacturers. So I notice now Makita are making their grinders with an X-Lock. Hopefully in the next few years, it just becomes standard across the industry and everyone uses them. I mean, that's that's sort of what Bosch does. They came up with the technology for SDS bits, for the star bit, for the, the multi-tool quick changes. Like they're, they're always ahead of the curve with this type of technology. So hopefully this turns up on all grinders because you do need to buy special discs that fit the X-Lock system. So the more brands that jump on with that, uh, the cheaper those will eventually become because they are a little bit more expensive. I do love this grinder. However, this switch, it can be a little tricky to get on, especially if your hands are a little bit wet or sweaty. It just doesn't want to stick sometimes. And one of Bosch's other grinders does have like a paddle switch, which is down here, which looks a lot more like ergonomic. But um, yeah, that's probably the only thing I don't love on this grinder is this switch. It's, it's okay, but it's, it can be a little tricky to sort of get used to it. The Bosch Hammer. This is a pretty small, like compact sort of unit. And yeah, for what we're doing, it's plenty of power. It's got like an anti-vibration handle, which is meant to take some of that impact off your hands. Yeah, it's a good little unit. And for the latest addition to my kit, it's just like the little reciprocating saw. It's actually really good. The ergonomics of it are really nice. Easy for one-handed operation. It's powerful enough for what I need it to be. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, the only other thing is the 305 18 volt miter saw, which is pretty much too big to fit in this tiny little space that I got here. So that one's back in the car. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's my Bosch kit. One thing I will say that I'm really missing in this Bosch ecosystem is an 18 volt trimmer, like palm router. Bosch, man, you need to, you need to get one of these to market. Every other brand has one. And as a carpenter, we use them all the time. And uh, yeah, there's no option for me at this point. Um, the only other option is that I jump on the 12 volt system, but that means a new charger, a new battery system, 
I mean, the whole idea is to keep all that stuff minimal so I don't have to be lugging around extra charges and batteries. I don't want to have to buy new batteries and a new charger just for this one specific tool. So Bosch really need to pull their finger out on this one and please get this 18 volt trim router out. So yeah, all in all, my Bosch setup, I'm super happy with it. I would like a little bit more in the range so I could just keep everything Bosch. The Procore batteries are amazing. The charge is really fast. All the tools have plenty of power, do everything that I need them to do. There are a couple of little things here and there that I don't love, but I mean, that's gonna happen with any tool manufacturer. Just be aware that you may not have as large a range as your Dewalt or as your Milwaukee or your, as your Makita brands are gonna give you. All these tools also have that six year warranty. So that's a massive plus. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you an overview of my current Bosch setup. Let me know your thoughts. Hit us up in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one.